Welcome to another Star Wars Armada Explained. I'm Karnak. Today we're going to be going over the high capacity ion turbines. Uh, this card equips into the ion cannon upgrade slot. How can you tell? If you look at the bottom left hand corner of the card, you will see the ion cannon upgrade symbol there. So any ship that has that symbol can equip this card. This card does cost 8 points. It reads modification. The battery armaments for your left and right hull zones are increased by one blue die. Uh, so this increase uh, the modification monkeyer by the way. So you can only bring one card per ship with that monkeyer. So you couldn't equip like three or four different cards that each said modification. You could only bring one card of, out of those that said modification. Obviously you can equip other cards that don't have that monkeyer to it. But again, you can only bring one modification card per ship. This is different than unique cards because uniques they have little bullet points in front of their names. So uniques means you can only bring one per fleet. So how does this card work? We're going to use this ISD-1 as an example. So an ISD-1 typically shooting from its left and right hole zones only throws two red die and two black die. With this card equipped you could get a little sticker and you can put a little blue sticker on the left and right hole zones and it could be blue and now Technically, your ship throws two red die, one blue die, and two black die. So this means uh, this is added to your initial pool because it is considered part of your battery armament. Uh, this does not work on uh, on anti-squadron attacks. It's only for uh, ship attacks and for... Uh, for example, if you're to shoot through obstruction, if you did want to remove the one blue die from that card, you absolutely could. Um, otherwise, for uh, how this card works, is again, you make sure you're in range, the appropriate range for everything. We're going to say that he's at close range. You roll the two red, you roll the one blue, and you roll the two black die, which, hey, that's a really pretty awesome roll there. So that is how that card works. Now there is one caveat is it does say it only augments the batteries of left and right hull zones. With the Super Star Destroyer coming out, I need to make sure to mention the Super Star Destroyer has a front hull zone like the ISD. It does have a left and a right. It has a rear, but it has two additional arcs uh, that are also, there's an additional one on the left and the right. But these are not called left and right hull zones. They are called left auxiliary and right auxiliary. They are specifically defined and separating them. So this card wouldn't be able to give an extra die to auxiliary arcs, only specifically to the left and right hull zones as defined by FFG. Uh, so that's Star Wars Armada Explained. Thanks for watching.